you're operating your mass transit, passenger fleet, first responder vehicles out in the field, you're asking these assets to do more than ever before. Digitization is not simple. It can be very complex to basically manage all these different types of systems. That's where the Cisco IR 1835 rugged router comes in. This modular based router that supports both 5G, Wi-Fi 6, and a whole host of different types of systems on board is specifically built for these transportation environments. I'm excited to have Cabal with us today that's going to walk through and tell us a little bit about the 1835. Thanks, Richard. Oh, of course. So Cabal, tell us how we first of all made this very simple to install for our mechanics and our operators in our service base. 1800 is designed for the transportation and industrial use case. Yep. It is very simple to install. It supports horizontal, vertical, and panel mount options that makes it adaptable for any location. Have you made it easy to provision this? 1835 is engineered to be minimally disruptive for service technicians mm -hmm. and mechanics operating the service paid. It supports zero-touch deployment using Cisco plug-and-play. You plug the device, it gets provisioned, and it's up running without any manual intervention. So you've got the same image for all the various routers that you have on your buses, for example. Exactly. Wow, and then how do you connect this uh, back into the environment? Today we are using this opportunity to introduce our new 7-in-1 antennas. Uh -huh. This antenna supports wide range of frequency bands like CBRS, public and private LTE, uh, 5G, public safety bands, band 14 for US and band 28 for Europe, GNSS and Wi-Fi 6 bands. That's a lot of options that you've got for the IR1835. How do you basically provide choice or modularity and for the router? We introduced the concept of modularity oh, start, mm -hmm. starting with 1100 and now we are extending it to 1800. Oh, show us how that works. Modularity allows you to future-proof your deployments and ability to change the modules. So let's take at this 4G module. As your business needs change, you may need more bandwidth and we are replacing this with a 5G module without replacing the chassis itself. So if I want to take my entire bus fleet, chassis stays in the location, all I do is just take these modules out or I could add first net capabilities, I could add CBRS, all different types of different choices for our pieces here. Right, and the interesting thing is we share these modules across enterprise and industrial routers. Oh, so the ISRs as well as the rest of our uh, industrial routing portfolio, they all use the same modules, so you have all of Cisco engineering behind the development of these. Right. Right, so we talked about how we can connect. How do we secure the IR1835? 1800 supports end-to-end -end security, starting from hardware to software to all the way to the application. Cisco Trust Anchor ensures that the hardware is authentic and has not been tampered. Cisco Secure Boot establishes a chain of trust from microloader to bootloader to all the way to the operating system. For your IO applications, Cisco IOXXC supports hardware encrypted VPNs, native firewalls, Cisco DNS, and many more advanced security features. How does it integrate on board the vehicle? 1800 have automotive certifications and dedicated features for mass transit operators. Let's tell a walk through that. Let's start with power management. How do I make sure that the router doesn't drain my bus battery, for example, when my generator's not? It supports ignition power management system that protects the vehicle, battery, as well as the router. Mm -hmm. The ignition sense features continuously monitors the battery voltage to ensure the router is safe from the voltage fluctuations. Ignition power management features protect the battery of the vehicle by disconnecting the router if the battery voltage drops below the configured threshold. So I'm protecting both the battery on board and then at the same time making sure that I don't have a voltage spike that takes out the, the router that's coming from the vehicle. Right. So how do we support how the vehicle basically operates in that, in that environment? The operators want the ability to track their assets in real time so they can quickly troubleshoot the issue and anticipate if any parts needs to be replaced. 1800 can steam real-time vehicle telemetry data via the canvas interface. This data can be used for predictive maintenance, fleet management, and monitor the vitals of the vehicle like speed, mileage, performance. 
So I can run an application on here that's taking that CAN bus data that's doing predictive maintenance and tell me, may tell me when a system needs to be replaced. So I can go ahead and get a ticket started back at the depot. Right. So how do we support location and knowing exactly where our assets are out in the field? Knowing where your asset is critical. A dispatcher needs to know where your vehicle is, even if it goes out of the cellular coverage range, so that you can send the next first responder to the exact location. Okay. We do it with the dead reckoning module that supports geofencing and remote asset tracking for accurate navigation in harsh environments like urban canyons, tunnels, bridges, and this module supports wide range of navigation like GPS, GLONASS, and Beidou. So that way, if my if I can't actually have cellular uh, coverage for my patrol car, I can actually use and dispatch my ambulance to the right location. Maybe I'm even using the first net van that we talked about in the communication side. I know exactly where to go for that incident. Right. So Wi-Fi, I know that providing Wi-Fi service is very, very important on board. Tell us a little bit about kind of how we do that. We are introducing the modular Wi-Fi 6 module for passenger services and high bandwidth application. So it slots in just as well, just the same thing as we did for our cellular pieces. And then um, how are we able to uh, basically support Wi-Fi and the various applications on board? 100 gig of storage along with edge compute can provide onboard entertainment over Wi-Fi. Okay. And then that slots in right here, right by where our dead reckoning, where our geolocation piece, right? So you just pop that guy in, and then that's providing me everything I need as far as storage on board. For the onboard entertainment system. Okay. And then what about protecting our passengers with cameras, for example? You can. It lets you connect four PoE cameras uh -huh. with supporting 30 watts of power. Now, we're storing the video on board. How do we offload it, make sure that we're not spiking our cell bill every month when we backload all that video? The Fi5 module supports the backhaul capability. The Wi-4 module can be connected to the infrastructure AP, yeah. which allows you to offload high bandwidth traffic like video surveillance over Wi-Fi rather than expensive cellular links. So I can use my Wi-Fi 6 module here. When I pull back into the service depot, I have a Wi-Fi 6 canopy there. I just backload all of that video that I've stored during the route right via Wi-Fi back to my back to my servers. Right. Wow. And then how do we manage all these devices at scale? We have thousands of routers in the field and we need a simple and a powerful tool to manage it. The cloud managed Cisco IoT operation dashboard scales to thousands of routers with simplicity, visually compelling dashboards, and provides you zero touch deployment, status of the 1800 routers, and status of the endpoints connected to 1800. Mm -hmm. Cisco validated design, fully tested end to end solution to ensure your deployment is a success. Let's go take a look at that, both on the IoT operations dashboard, and we'll go out and look at this installed in a bus. Let's go. Here is 1835, fully loaded in the passenger bus. This particular platform has the Wi-Fi pluggable LTE module, GNSS, FRU, and storage module, along with the newly launched 7-in-1 antenna. This particular platform is providing various services to the passengers on the bus, Wi-Fi to the passengers on the bus for the safety of the passengers, the cameras are connected via the PoE port, the digital signage and onboarding ticketing system is connected via Ethernet ports, and we are tracking this vehicle via the newly launched GNSS through. We have a lot more than one connected bus to oversee, and we have to keep the entire fleet running. Cisco's new IoT operations dashboard can help us run at scale. It's the single destination that OT and IT use to collaborate as they deploy, monitor, and gain insights from their connected industrial assets. The dashboard shows a simple real-time visualization of the entire fleet, giving operations an easy way to proactively monitor services. Alerts help us keep track of the health of the whole system and our punch list of issues that need attention. Now something's wrong with bus 2981. It's showing up on our alerts, so even if we have to step away, it's being tracked on our to-do list. When we click into the details for this bus, we can see that the bus has cellular connectivity and that several of the onboard systems, like the payment system, camera, and Wi-Fi, are still connected. However, 
it looks like the bus display is down. Let's click into the error details to find out more. We can see that the bus display has port connectivity to the router and that the router can reach the display application back at headquarters. However, it seems the display isn't communicating with the router, so we suspect it's an error with the display hardware. This isn't a critical system, so we don't need to take this bus out of service. We can just schedule maintenance and tell the service depot to have an extra display ready if it needs to be replaced. If this were a critical system, like the dispatch system, we'd want to bring the bus in immediately. Operations teams have never had this level of detail before without getting IT involved. It's giving us the information we need to efficiently adapt to evolving situations on the fly. To summarize, in our connected, data-rich world, the IR1800 is the universal router you can trust for scalable, modular, and secure connectivity to future-proof your IoT deployments.